Hey guys, James here with Waterford Business Solutions, and today I want to talk a little bit about doing credit card deposits in QuickBooks for people using House Call Pro. I've previously done a video on how to do cash check and other deposits, and you can find that on my YouTube channel, but this video is going to focus specifically on credit card deposits. With credit card deposits in House Call Pro, when you accept the payment by credit card, House Call Pro will actually generally create the bank deposit for you automatically. However, if you end up with an error in House Call Pro, which you would find by the spell icon with a number over it, which prevents an invoice for going, from going over, a payment from going over, or maybe even a bank deposit from being created, you sometimes have to go in yourself and create the bank deposit yourself. In this video, that's what we're going to be talking about doing. For those of y'all who just want to understand how House Call Pro is doing this, it's probably going to be very useful for you too there. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me as I'm happy to help answer them for you. So in your bank deposit screen here, we've already received payment on this invoice here for Jim Jones. And we're going to go ahead and select that that has been deposited into our bank account. Now we would determine that by our My Money page in House Call Pro. The My Money page in House Call Pro gives us a list of all of our payouts. Now my My Money page is not active because I don't physically use the My Money page in House Call Pro. But for those of y'all using House Call Pro's credit card processor, you'll see all of your payouts here and you can click on them and get a list of what was deposited on that date. When you get that list of what was deposited on that date, then you'll also see a amount here for what you were charged in credit card processing fees. So we're going to need both of those information. So the best thing to do before we even start in QuickBooks is to come to My Money, find the date of the payout. And remember the date of the payout is going to be different than the payment date. Payouts in House Call Pro tend to happen two to five days after you take the payment. And it's two to five business days, not over the weekend. So if you take a payment on Friday, you generally won't see it in your bank account until Tuesday. So we'll find the payout here and it'll tell us, okay, Jim Jones was de deposited on 2-6. Because we took the payment on 2-4, so it should be deposited on 2-6. So we would want to make sure that we change that date. Whenever you go to the deposit screen in QuickBooks, it's going to be for the current date. So if it happened previously, make sure you change it, especially if you're going back beginning of next month to fix something to do your reconciliation for the prior month. So we'll come here, we'll change this date, select Jim Jones, we already know he paid by credit card here, and then we're going to come down here to add funds to this deposit. What we're going to do here is we're going to tell QuickBooks what funds House Call Pro pulled out. So we're going to receive funds from House Call Pro into our House Call Pro credit card processing fee account and then in the amount field again you'll see an amount of what you were charged for the fees here your fee structure with House Call Pro can vary depending on which um, subscription level you're with with them or if you're using their handheld card readers because those give you a steep discount there I'm gonna just use kind of an average fee of about 2.9 percent so we're gonna come here and again since my my money page isn't populated. I'm going to have to calculate it myself. So give me one minute and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and did the calculation. And the amount that I should be charged on this at a 2.9% um, processing rate would be $147.90. So we want to put that amount down here. However, if we put it in the positive, we're going to be depositing $5,247.90. That's not what we actually received in our bank account because with House Call Pro, they pull out our fees before it goes into the bank account. So we actually want to put a negative number here because this negative number here will diminish our deposit by that $147.90 so that we're only depositing $4,952.10. That should match the total amount up here for the payout. If it does not, then you have not got all the fees in there because we want the total amount of this bank deposit to equal the total amount in House Call Pro. 
The other thing that this is doing, rather than just matching what's physically going into your bank so that you can match it on the bank feed and reconcile in QuickBooks Online at the end of the month, the other thing this is doing is it's physically recording into a cost of goods sold account, which is this House Call Pro credit card processing fee, an expense of $147.90. So that when we look at your profit and loss sheet for the next month, we will see that expense right there already recorded. That's why I really like House Call Pro and how they do it because they're recording all of those expenses and it's all happening automatically for you. Now, 95% of the time, this is absolutely going to happen automatically, but every once in a while, there's just a small glitch where it doesn't happen. This is when you'll need to use this, or if you just want to understand what's going on, this is a great video to watch. As always, guys, if you've got questions, concerns, anything like that, please don't hesitate to reach us um, by phone, email, or visit our website. Have a wonderful day. Bye.